I'll be taking you all through this particular uh, lesson, Oracle Business Intelligence Reporting Overview. After completing this lesson, we should be able to explain the strategy and product coverage of Oracle Business Analytics. We should be able to describe the components and key features of Oracle Business Intelligence Solutions. And we should also be able to locate standard reports and dashboards. And we should also be able to create and edit reports, analyzes and dashboards as well. So these are the topics which you'll be covering as part of this particular lesson. So the first topic is on Oracle Business Analytics Strategy and Coverage. So this uh, diagram uh, depicts uh, Oracle Business Analytics Strategy and uh, Coverage. It includes uh, visual analytics, uh, self-service, any data and seamless experience. So what does this mean? Uh, so uh, the visual analytics, it gives you uh, uh, the reports in even in graphical formats which will help you to uh, easily uh, uh, take informed decision and uh, and also uh, use any data for visualization data visualization you could uh, upload data uh, from any third party system or external system and analyze the data Uh, uh, this particular slide depicts actionable insights uh, from um, um, uh, various roles point of view. Uh, either it could be an executive or product development, supply chain planning, manufacturing and maintenance, logistics and fulfillment and sourcing and procurement point of view. So what uh, actionable insight or uh, what actions uh, each of these um, uh, resources who are um, performing these roles can take. Uh, is actually discussed on this particular slide. So these are the various um, uh, SEM products and their subject areas which are available on SEM Cloud uh, BI. Oracle Transactional Business Intelligence Real-Time Reporting. Um, the real-time operational reporting is embedded in Oracle uh, Cloud applications. So, and which supports a daily decision making, uh, proactive problem resolution, and uh, uh, increases the business speed and agility. It uh, fully supports uh, the fusion extensibility and enables operational excellence. So, this uh, screenshot uh, depicts a, uh, or gives a glimpse of intuitive uh, and user friendly navigation. And uh, this particular screenshot highlights uh, the data configurability, uh, the conditional formatting, and various charting form, uh, options. So with uh, info lets, info tiles, and dashboards, uh, we have already gone through the info lets in one of the uh, topics when we are covering the um, inventory uh, overview. Uh, so with this info lets and info tiles and dashboards, the user interface is highly configurable and flexible. It provides you even with the drill down capabilities wherein you could just click on uh, one of the uh, areas in the chat or in the info let and it will uh, show you all the uh, uh, the items uh, or it will show you all the uh, uh, records for which picking is required or for all the items for which uh, a receipt is required uh, or receiving is required and you could also have the capabilities like a flip card and expanded views as well so this screenshot depicts the uh, edit portfolio page uh, which uh, wherein um, there is an embedded report enterprise analytics so uh, we have uh, the pre-built uh, data warehouse, uh, data extraction, data model, and uh, reports and dashboards, which we could uh, use. And it provides you uh, flexible deployment options, whether you want to uh, deploy it on cloud or you want to use it as for on-premise purposes, 
or uh, or it can be used as a combination that is a hybrid option wherein you could deploy it for both cloud and on premise model so oracle data visualization cloud uh, service uh, so it can be easily uh, the data from third party systems can be easily uploaded and data can be analyzed ourselves easily and we can get uh, uh, more answers by quickly uncovering hidden patterns and previously unknown trends and we can scale more heights uh, by crafting and sharing a story supported by the data so mobile analytics uh, so uh, please uh, go through uh, more details on the mobile analytics moving forward uh, and let us go to the instance and see it ourselves like what all things we can do as part of bi so click on the on the home page i'm clicking on uh, the uh, clicking on more and i'll click on click on more and click on reports and analytics so now uh, click on uh, the browse catalog click on browse catalog we will get to the uh, ba answers page uh, as you could see here click on the section new and under this section analysis and interactive reporting click on new analysis and then you could select the uh, subject areas and uh, So you could select the subject areas uh, like uh, inventory. Say suppose we want to select the inventory uh, real time. So let me select the subject area inventory uh, balance uh, real time. So I've selected the um, inventory balance real time and you could see on the left hand side the various folders under this inventory inventory balance real time and say I drill down the folder item and further drill down the subfolder main and select double click on uh, the item name. So double click on this item name or you could just simply drag and drop under the section selected columns click on item name and if you scroll up uh, under the inventory organization uh, double click on inventory organization name and you could scroll up further and uh, check on uh, the folder drill down the folder current on hand quantity and here click on on hand quantity double click on on hand quantity and you could see we've added three columns and now if you want to see how the results how the report would look like click on results and you'll be able to see the report output as well so we have created a simple uh, uh, e uh, easy report now now let us go ahead and save this by clicking on save as and now uh, i want to uh, share this under the shared folder under the custom uh, folder under the custom folder i want to save this say uh, demo inventory uh, balance a uh, real time so this is the report which i want i created now under this particular i'm saving it under this particular folder click on ok ok so now that we have created this let us go ahead and create a dashboard as well click on new and click on new dashboard so so provide a dashboard name say demo uh, uh, dashboard say demo db and uh, say uh, this is the location where you are actually storing uh, the uh, 
dashboard say let's say i'll put it as custom dashboards click on ok so uh, you could see the catalog here you'll be able to access the custom report which we have uh, just created So demo inventory balance uh, real time this is the report which we have created uh, you could just drag it and drop it here uh, and if you want to preview it you could just click on preview so this is how uh, it would look like you could add multiple reports to this particular dashboard as well so this is how you could um, uh, using this dashboard instead of uh, switching screens to access multiple re reports uh, what uh, 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 what an user can do is uh, a user can add these multiple reports onto a single dashboard instead of uh, scrolling or switching between screens uh, they can access all the reports and take informed decision uh, using one single screen so now uh, that you have seen this let us also quickly see how to create a uh, BI uh, report using uh, BI publisher. So for that, we would need to create a data model. So let us click on new and click on data model. So click on leave page. So for that, uh, you could create a data model using SQL query and uh, you could select the data source as fusion db and uh, the name you could uh, provide uh, some um, name randomly demo uh, bap jan and you could uh, provide uh, the sql query if you do not know the table name uh, what you could do is you could uh, enter docs.oracle.com click on cloud uh, i've showed this uh, in one of the uh, previous uh, one of the previous lessons as well so click on scm core and if you select the uh, release release 13 update 17c and click on books and if you scroll down on the books you will be able to see uh, the development wherein uh, the tables and views for scm cloud so you'll be able to see all the tables related to SEM cloud by uh, drilling down these tables. And if you scroll down, say if you could uh, use any of these uh, tables, say for example, I will use the table um, uh, for the quantities. Let me pick up one table uh, inventory on hand quantities details this is the table i want to use say for example uh, let me go back to the instance select star form and click on ok so you could see uh, this is a data model which we have created and click on the data tab and uh, click on view and you should be able to create a sample data for this particular uh, uh, data model so now this is the sample uh, uh, data click on save so uh, we have um, data model a uh, demo data model january okay so i'm saving it under my folders click on ok now i can create a report using this particular data model click on create so here i can use this particular data model uh, and i can create a report So we need to uh, uh, 
save the sample data for the data model so we could uh, do that as well click on open and open the sample uh, data model so click on data so um, click on view and we need to save this as sample data saved as sample data and now uh, click on save uh, we have saved the data model now if you click on create report now and uh, if you click on use data model you should be able to uh, click on next and use that particular data model to create a report so this is a report which we are trying to create using a BA publisher so I'd say the page option is landscape uh, and I'm just uh, taking the tabular format uh, that is the layout click on next and click on next so here in the table say what are the fields you want to see in the table right so uh, say I want to view uh, the inventory So some of the columns which I want to see here. So I'm just showing you one particular table. You can uh, create uh, joining multiple tables. You can create various SQL queries. Say I'm adding here inventory ID and I'm adding uh, say uh, a sub inventory. Or I'm handing, uh, adding on hand quantities. Uh, and I'm adding um, uh, only these two columns say for example and if I want to preview the report I can preview the report as well so this is how uh, the report would look like so which we could uh, uh, further uh, customize it uh, using the BI publisher and we could use a specific BI publisher template as well so uh, let us go back to the presentation so in this lesson we have learned how to explain the strategy and product coverage of uh, business analytic business analytics we have described the components and key features of Oracle business intelligence solutions and we have also discussed about how to locate and stand locate standard reports and dashboards as well and we have seen how to create and edit reports analysis and dashboards as well in case if you are interested in uh, uh, having more information on bi uh, you can register for any of the upcoming workshops on um, bi and you could attend the detailed uh, workshop on bi Thanks everyone for joining, uh, thanks for joining, thank you.